everyone and welcome back to Fragrance of the Week. Now I've been using the Catherine Malandrino Special Moments for the time since last week and it is truly a very nice scent. Uh, again, you're going somewhere, you may have a wedding to go to, you have a date night. This is that fragrance. So for those special occasions, special moments. Um, I loved it. It did um, last most of the day uh, without kind of wearing down. Um, so I love it. So remember the notes. The notes on this are citrus pill, plum, peach, and honeydew. Those were the top notes. So kind of that more fruity kind of scent. The middle notes is where it gets its kind of floral, which is rose water, pink, cyclamen, and jasmine. And then, of course, the base notes, white musk, amber crystals, and vanilla bean. Again, making it that sweet, kind of fruity scent. And that dry down with that musk is mm, everything. Definitely a fragrance for those special occasion so love 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 this so if you have a date night valentine's day is coming up y'all mm, this is great you would probably love it so what did i pull off the shelf yasa teas by Givenchy it is a floral fragrance for women now this is a very old fragrance that was launched in 1984 and then the nose behind the fragrance is Dominique Ropion. The top notes include aldehydes, lang lang, orange blossom, galbanum, Brazilian rosewood, coconut, bergamot, mandarin orange, and citrus the middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, narcissus, carnation, rum, iris, and rose. And then the base notes that make this fragrance are honey, civet, oak moss, sandalwood, cloves, amber, patchouli, musk, vivid de vir, Levit Vere, Laurels, and Vanilla. Yes. So this is a very old fragrance. Been around for quite some time. Um, I love it because of the vanilla probably that's in here. That sweet, uh, fruity fragrance. So... So yes, from Givenchy. This is Yasa Teas. This is a very old fragrance. Um, you can find it still um, at probably some of the perfume shops or something like that, but a very old fragrance. But it smells amazing. Um, and I picked this up because someone at work was wearing this, and I was like, oh my God, what do you have on? Now, you know it never smells the same on everyone but it smelled so good so i looked up the notes and i was like oh that is something that i would like um so i got online and i ordered it and i probably paid i don't know thirty dollars maybe for this again it is a very old fragrance so it's not going to cost you that much as it would a brand new fragrance today um this is the probably 3.4 ounces 3.3 fluid ounces. It's an Edu toilet. Um, so love that. Um, and I will wear this, you know, all this week um, and then come back and give you a review on how it wears down. But it smells, it smells so good. So again, the notes. Um, it does have, let's go over the top notes again. The Lang Lang Orange Blossom. Brazilian rosewood, coconut, bergamot, mandarin orange, and some other citruses. Um, 
And then, of course, it does have the honey, sandalwood, patchouli. If you don't like patchouli, which a lot of people don't, they don't like the smell of patchouli. Um, but it's very faint in this, in my opinion. Um, and, of course, the vanilla on the, some of the base notes. So um, I think it's going to be a great fragrance. Um, kind of reminds me of sophisticated... Um, down the business kind of person. I love it. Um, so again, I will come back with my thoughts on this next week for you. And again, this is a very old fragrance. It's from the 80s. So, but I can still find it around. And if you're looking for something for those special occasions, date night, anything like that, I would definitely pick this up. Definitely. Well, that's all that I have for Fragrance of the Week this week, and I will see you back next week for the review of Yasa Tees by Givenchy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on another video.